So another question again is, what is the difference between a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon? A store coupon is a coupon that is issued by the store, by Publix, by Winn-Dixie, by Kroger, by uh, Walmart doesn't really issue store coupons, by Dollar General, Family Dollar. Those are coupons that they create for a product and issue out, you know, a dollar off of Huggies. It says Publix or says Winn-Dixie or says Dollar General on it. That's a store coupon. Um, a manufacturing coupon is obviously a, crea a, a coupon created by the manufacturer. At any look, any store across the United States, doesn't matter where you're at, you can stack a store and a manufacturer coupon. You cannot stack two manufacturer coupons. You cannot put two manufacturer tied coupons together to save double the money off. Um, there are very few occasions. I know I just said you cannot do that, but there are very, very few occasions where you can. Some stores may allow you to double a manufacturer coupon. Um, it's very rare. I believe Publix sometimes does it. And Family Dollar will sometimes allow you to stack a manufacturer digital coupon with a manufacturer paper coupon. So Family Dollar has digital coupons just like Dollar General. I've done it before. If they have a holler, if they have a like a Herbal Essence digital coupon, um, they will sometimes they will allow you to stack a you know buy one get one free manufacturer coupon on top of it uh, to you know get a discount and obviously get another shampoo for free. But 99% of the time you cannot stack the manufacturer coupons. Like I said, store and manufacturer you can use together all day long. That's what they want you to do. But um, two manufacturers you cannot stack. Um, another question I get asked is how do you organize your coupons I use a three ring binder that I think I posted a link to um, with like baseball card sleeves in it um, and you can buy those on Amazon or eBay or whatever I think I bought the binder on Amazon and I bought the car the sleeves on eBay um, and what I do is there's two ways to do it you can cut up all your coupons which I recommend I recommend when you get your inserts to cut up the whole insert some people will recommend just to cut out the coupons you want to use but I mean that's I don't my coupons aren't good to me unless I have them with me so I recommend that you cut up all the inserts um, and then you can do one of two things you can put them according to what they are in a binder you know bath and body stuff laundry soaps things like that um, what I've started doing is putting them in there by expiration date so I know which ones are going bad so I know to use them before they go bad I don't want to you know three weeks later after I cut it up flip to the back to some dog food coupon and it expired two weeks ago so I definitely put them in the date of expiration order now so I know when to use them it's just something that works for me and uh, you know there's I, many ways you can do it you can use envelopes and all that uh, that just seems like a pain to me I just see a mess you definitely don't want to bring a stack of coupons into the store and try to do it that way because you're gonna get flustered and um, you know people don't like waiting on couponers I'm a couponer and I hate waiting on people to coupon so you know whatever I go to another line um, but get your binder or something and uh, do it that way um, another good idea is to plan out what you're going to buy, make a list of what you're going to buy in the sale and, and everything before you go. Um, it's, it's incredibly frustrating standing there in the aisle trying to look at your coupons and look at the product and, you know, look at your phone to look at a deal. You know, just make sure you know what you're doing before you go in there. Um, if, if you're trying to use a coupon on something that doesn't scan, um, there's, you know, unless the cashier just overrides it and puts it in for you, it's just not going to work. A lot of people try to use... Uh, the wrong they'll try to use the right manufacturer coupons, but they'll try to buy the wrong product size They'll try to buy they'll try to use a dollar off coupon for a 50 ounce bottle of something on a Two ounce bottle of something so they get an overage on it and most uh, Checkout systems, you know will catch that and not allow you to do it um, Some places will let it go through just fine, and that's just the name of the game, but um, it's not coupon fraud to do that to do that. You know people call it balanced couponing because If you think about it a manufacturer such as Tide or, or Gain or Huggies or whoever these are Billion dollar companies if they don't want you to use these coupons on particular things They're going to code the coupon like that They know that there's individuals out there that will use the coupons on any size of their products and they will allow it to go through That is a choice that they make. It's a very 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 simple option to exclude different sizes on a coupon it's a you know push of the button during the coupon creation process when these companies make them so 
you know, some people freak out that you're using a wrong coupon on the a smaller sized item that, you know, it's illegal and you're going to go to jail. No, you're not. Now, if you're trying to use a fake coupon that's printed on a printer at your house, yeah, you could probably go to jail for that. That's coupon fraud and they are cracking down like crazy, but trying to use a 52 pack of Huggies coupon for a dollar off on a trial size pack of Huggies of five diapers is not fraud and if it works for you great save the extra money but chances are it's not gonna let it go through and the cashier is gonna read it out in front of you and everybody else and make you look retarded so just a chance you take I've used many a coupon for larger items on a smaller things and it's great but um, make friends with your managers teach them how to keep on show them where you get inserts you know point them to the group I've got two good friends of mine that are managers of CVS and managers of uh, Dollar General and they have friends and family they keep on and they encourage it they, they, they ignore limits and everything because in the end the store is making money if you go to a store and the cashier acts like you're costing them money by using coupons they do not know what they're doing I don't know how they're even functioning to get to work because companies get paid by the coupon plus more it doesn't matter if you get the item for free they still get paid the full amount for that product plus the cost of the coupon so for a cashier to act like, oh my God, you're stealing from the store using these coupons that you, you know, that's not, that's just, mm -mm. no ma'am. So have fun with it, save some money, blow people's minds with it. I love when people are behind me and I have a freaking cart full of stuff and I pay $13. How did you do that? Well, let me tell you.